<laughs> welcome, welcome to It's Oksana workroom. We just show you how we live here and work. I started as like every, from lots of us in the industry in my basement. And four years ago, we moved to this location. And I used to be a one person workroom. Once I moved into a bigger location, we were able to do more business and I was able to hire more people to do work. We started with, a, so, uh, with sewing machines, industrial law. We, we added serger, which is great. Then another great addition is a blind stitching. That was my next step. Uh, now we added pleater, and I found it uh, much easier to do all this uh, sewing of hard pleats. And this is a blessing. Tacker. It's a, it's a great addition to our machinery. This, this is probably the main piece of equipment in the work crew. <laughs> Iron. Um, well, I killed lots of uh, small ones, and we at the point when we got this from uh, Wawak. It's a hot steam. It cost hundred fifty dollars. We built this uh, system, and you can roll that all the way to the other table. We added this clutch, a roller to lift the water because you need pretty high. We have a high ceiling here, we need to hang lots of uh, materials. This is like all the tapes we're using at the table. So we're using again this chain and folks using the same with like Velcro and recording about the sewing machine. I love this one because uh, we have uh, on the box, the tray on the box sides when we did 24 width fabric uh, commercial job, it basically was 24 ways of fabric sewing together. That was huge help. We, we saw two and two, then four and four, eight and eight, and finally we have this huge piece of 24 widths, and that's what so we got at the point in the business and we started cutting lots of fabric, more and more, and I decided, I was looking for this machine for quite a while, but I couldn't afford it. Now I think we at the time when we really needed, so we added to our machinery. Also this is a good thing when we size the panels you put that on the table and you clamp it and it's great that gives the exact length of the panel so you don't have to guess this was a request of my installer actually because we are on the third floor we have a great elevator but uh, by the time of installation you have lots of draperies and you basically load everything on this rock, rack and roll it to the truck. It's uh, it's not it, you know a lot, but it makes life a little bit easier. Well, since we like in a one big room and we don't have enough vertical space, and we using this uh, space as a workroom and a showroom. We built this vertical uh, wall with draperies. Thanks, we have, we know how to do draperies. <laughs> it's um, just regular Kirsch uh, ripple foam drapery rod. We divided space using this chain hooks, and um, we have samples of the draperies here. We have samples of fabrics, we have uh, lots of books we like to use. Well, we do just regular pleated drapes, ripple folds, pillows, and 
we're trying to do something different and I think that help us to win a client and then bring new designers, new clients, because we can, uh, we added a couple different lines. We added laser cutting. We can play with that. We added um, custom print. We can create for client completely custom uh, fabric based on the colors or the aesthetics, uh, based on the interiors. We can, uh, it makes our life uh, more fun. I, and I can show you, this is, this is my favorite. Basically, it's two layers. Two layers of sheer fabric. One is cut to a pattern and the other just plain fabric. We play lots with the linens, sheer linens, that creates double layer. And if you see when you, like, pretend you open the window and your shear is moving, and so whole image kind of changes. This is different. It's also sheer, but we it applique, laser cutting, cut it. Applique, if you can see it against the light, it creates that mystery image. Yeah. Well, this one is more like three dimensional, and it's you see this fabric kind of curls because after we laser cut, it creates some kind of tension in the fiber and it actually did it itself. So it became three-dimensional, different patterns, different fabrics. Oh, this is more like water drops. We can, we can create pattern with holes. This is like big giant tree. Just if you look at that, it's all around holes and you can put them in a pattern. This is two different fabric, different colors. This is heavier, it's wool with laser cut. This is applique over there, the red flower. It's actually French lace. We cut it and put it in a one. It's like galaxy. It's also we use felt, felting technique. Apply this sparkly things. This ex experiment instead of instead of hemming edge, we just cut it and made it edge. Experimenting right now, when we love it, it's with hand painted linen. Also, we have printed from adaptive textile linen. It's beautiful. With and as you see, you can have different. This is hand painted. We. This is a test for one of our clients we did the drapery too really nice she's an artist and she really appreciates the, the work when you're looking for those clients and that makes your life very oh you very happy with we were able to match the color of uh, client's wall <laughs> and uh, she likes those sandy dunes so based on the watercolor drawing, we were able to make this 16, uh, it was 16 feet tall and 26 feet wide drapery. It was quite a piece. So basically we cut, it's a laser applique. Laser cut applique, we use the, um, the Fuse, fusing uh, material from Raleigh. First we apply it to material, then we laser cut it, and then we apply it to fabric where you want. It's a great technique for 
uh, cornices you can because with the laser cutting we can scale pattern to exact size you need this is the piece we cut on a laser it's a small piece but you can do big piece same way basically it's backed with a uh, teflon paper you peel it off and you see this backing with adhesive you put that on a piece of paper or you can adhere that to the fabric and basically iron on and it will stay we have cut lots of holes make great pattern and threaded the cording this is totally circles once you look up there once you pull it it's become like uh, it's completely changes and you pull more same with this fabric it creates a three-dimensional feeling this is um, this is the artwork of one of my colleagues my friend it's uh, the artwork maybe the size like 20 by 30 maybe not even that big so we scanned it and we turned it into digital file we work a little bit with it because if you add if you just print it on the fabric and it has folds you completely will lose image so we added fullness for folding that way we kept the image and we created this beautiful drapery i think it's deserved to be in uh, somebody's beautiful house and it's uh, just piece of art by itself from well, eight years of my life i was struggling in my basement then i took and class guess what happened uh, right that year we double our business and i highly encourage everybody in the industry if you ever considering uh, build your business somebody advise who knows something in the industry take hands class